Hi everyone, it's Sketch Your Fashion Drawing Tutorials and this is tutorial number 10 in how to draw wedding dress crash course. Check out other videos as well. So we are going to draw this beautiful bridal gown with floral lace. First let's draw the dress itself. We have this v-neck and the skirt is more like a princess type so it goes like a, well, something like a triangle and then draw the hemline so how to draw this hemline and how to draw these lines that actually show the draping in our case the hemline looks like this so a lot of light fabric uh, draping so here we see these you know, let's say call it heel so this is something flat and many many heels so when heel is higher it means that their fabric drapes more so on the sides we can make a really dark uh, lines like in this case and we color that more with marker as you can see there are many many small heels but you don't have to show them with lines and now I'm drawing the back part of her skirt. As you can see, its hemline is a bit further. And don't forget about the symmetry. Pay attention to the shape. All the skirt looks like a flower, just turned upside down. Now I'm using lavender color, which is really light, light tone of violet. And uh, I'm drawing some draping with it. I recommend you to watch in a full screen mode so you can see everything. Now I'm using ice gray one uh, just to you know to show that draping. And now I'm using ice gray three and use darker colors really carefully, especially when you draw something which is light. In our case, it's really light, light uh, wedding dress. So now I'm using ice gray one and if you remember our hemline and draping i'm coloring mostly the area inside of the drapes along those lines that we made previously with pencil so since our dress has this purple tone i'm using the lavender color again and i'm doing similar thing that i did with a ice gray one previously so just coloring between the drapes, making some thin lines to show smaller folds. Then coloring a little bit more with cool gray one between the folds in the lower part. Using ice gray three to show really big folds, just the sides. Well, don't overuse dark gray, otherwise your wedding dress will lose this lightness. After that, outline the hemline with a 0.5 fine liner, which is a bit thicker fine liner. And for the sides and these drapes, I'm using 0.1 fine liner. With a pencil, I'm showing the area where we are going to have the lace uh, with a floral motif. Instead of starting drawing with a fine liner, we are going first use a correction liquid pen. So now I'm using correction pen and I'm just drawing something not quite random trying to draw something floral but it's actually mm, nothing detailed so let's look at what i'm doing a bit closer so i take correction pen and i'm i spread it more or less drawing something curvy wired looking like flowers maybe a bit maybe like leaves having some direction connected elements as you see right now so and I'm drawing that in the area that I defined with uh, pencil just previously so after 
correction pen dries, I'm using a bit darker tone of pink in this example. Or you can use the same color, just next level, it will make it a bit darker. And I'm coloring on one side, as if you're showing shadows. It will just make it more dimensional. Then I'm using fine liner and I'm using 0.1 fine liner. And as you can see, what you got randomly with correction pen actually has some floral shapes. And I'm just finishing the idea. I didn't actually have uh, this in mind when I was drawing with correction pen. But as you can see, it's the same as seeing shapes in clouds. Well, this can be a flower, this can be a leaf, and that's how I'm working. But of course, if you have a particular pattern in your mind, you can start drawing that pattern when you actually start working with correction pen. Since we used lavender, I'm using lilac color for that shadows, for the slight outline of the area with uh, correction pen. And after that, I'm going to draw the pattern with a fine liner. I'm using 0.1 fine liner. I'm adding more shadows with Ice Gray 3. That's how it looks when you finish all the pattern, all the lace area. So now I'm using lavender color for the back part of your skirt, again showing the draping. And here I'm using more of the dark colors. Uh, right now I'm using Ice Gray 3 and covering the part that is laying on the ground and the area between the folds. Now take your fine liner, thin one, 0.1 nib, and outline the hemline and show biggest fault. After that we're using again correction pen to show the lace area on the back part of her skirt and here we will not show as many details as we did on the front part. So instead of using fine liner we're going to use just regular pencil. So now with uh, Ice Gray 3, I'm showing some shadows, and now I'm using pencil. Well, next, let's work with your veil. First, I'm using lavender and showing some draping with uh, lines and then using cool gray one a little bit just slightly and then i want to add some tiny lace details on it with some drops of correction pen then i just outline it with a thin fine liner next uh, we're almost done i'm just drawing the ground. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, this is part of a how to draw wedding dress crush course. There are nine more tutorials on drawing absolutely different designs of wedding dresses and many many other tutorials on fashion drawing on AppSketcher channel. So please subscribe, click like button if you enjoyed this video, share your questions and suggestions in comment section below, follow AppSketcher on Instagram and Pinterest and see you next tutorial.